tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Good evening, everybody. Let me ask you an interesting question. Do you believe in lucky and unlucky numbers? If you do so believe, there are also lucky and unlucky addresses. And that's our learning modules for tonight. Uh, how come, you may ask, even in Feng Shui, uh, numbers uh, take a special role in terms of luck or being unlucky? Well, it all centers on the neuro-linguistic mentality or psychology of mankind. Words are very influential to our thoughts and our thoughts influence our decisions and our decisions affect our destiny, whether we be lucky or not. Okay. But as for now, how numbers influence our business by way of uh, uh, having a lucky address or an, an unlucky address, the same with our residences will be our topic for tonight. And for that matter, uh, I've invited uh, a recent uh, quarantine time uh, uh, feng shui client who's into food uh, to share with us uh, her luck in her business. And uh, why I specifically uh, handpick her is because her home and business address, working from home, is number nine. And uh, number nine is a lucky number in Feng Shui, even in uh, uh, Western uh, numerology. Uh, it's Feng Shui symbolism we will take up tonight. So let's welcome uh, Miss Tin Sel Tan. Uh, she is an entrepreneur. She has two uh, simultaneous uh, food uh, uh, delivery business in her uh, 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 area, some, somewhere in uh, VF Paranaque, which delivers even up to Makati and even Mandaluyong uh, areas. No? So let's welcome uh, Miss Tin Sultan. Hi, Master. Hello, Paul. Good Hi, evening, Tinsel. everyone. Good evening and uh, welcome to the show. Uh, so you have you handle from home business uh, two outfits. Can you share with us uh, the nature of your two enterprises? Um, Master, I have two food businesses as of the moment. So first is Tinsel Pan. It um, caters from party trays, packed meals, family meals, anything food related. And then those are usually pre-ordered and um, that has one to two days lead time. The other one is the Ready Heat Go. Um, we offer um, small servings like... Distinction about uh, your two ventures. Uh, Tin yes. Pan specializes in fresh cooked food. No? Uh, fresh food. Uh, for delivery, uh, whereas the other one we will tackle later is on frozen food. Let's focus first on uh, uh, tinsel pan. Uh, normally, uh, you mentioned to me earlier backstage that uh, your fastest moving items for tinsel pan would be snack foods. Yes, currently. Ngayon po, uh, yun ang can, can you share demand. with us uh, what what type of snack foods are do people demand nowadays? Demand. Um, usually, um, like uh, what during the sa weather ngayon. Sa, sa weather po ngayon, people are looking for the aroscaldo, the ginataang bilo-bilo, the champorado the banana queue, the toronto, uh, things that usually cannot order sa, in the usual uh, fast food. Uh, 
does your champorado come with sidings like tuyo or <laughs> tuyo any other yes po <laughs> oh. and the powdered sugar uh powdered champorado milk with dry pea. Mm-hmm. okay so that's for a uh, tinsel pan no and how did you arrive at the name well tinsel pan. um <laughs> Since my name is Tinsel and my surname now is Tang, why not make a pun out of it? So, uh-huh. so it's basically me common sense, no? uh-huh. in the kitchen. I thought you were inspired by Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. No, Peter. Okay. <laughs> it sounds the same. Uh, now, uh, going back to uh, uh, your operations for both, Uh, since I recently pungsoed uh, your home and uh, business, uh, how has pungsoed impacted your or affected your operations? Uh, you consulted me uh, at least during the first month during of the pandemic. During your birthday, po. <laughs> during your birthday, you po. Pardon? Improved like the sales went up and somehow um, the products weren't hard selling and people were even asking do you have stock do you have supply of this and that and super lucky because somehow kunwari lima na lang yung natitirang stock ko sa freezer and then they would ask do you have five so somehow nasa sold out yung saktong stock na meron din ako And okay, naman pre operations, okay. walang problems. Okay. And, uh, uh-huh. and uh, let's share with our audience uh, one of the stimulants that I shared with Fung Sui uh, 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 how to reactivate sales, like what you what happened to you, no? Uh, in terms of your uh, the movement of your inventory and uh, finished goods products, no, uh, it's a very simple uh, device in Feng Shui. If you want to kickstart again your cash flow, which derives from sale, uh, the good thing is she has no problem in collections, no, because <laughs> <I'll appreciate laughs> yes, you know? definitely, <laughs> you order more, walang uh, accounts receivable. Um, is uh, using a simple pet as a mascot which is the beta or the fighting fish uh, can you show us your fighting fish po, line, uh, behind me in fighting of fish ah uh, there there are And, three fighting fishes as of the moment so magkakasama mm-hmm. po sila sa sa isang tank kasi pag mag-isa lang hindi rin po pwede eh. They somehow get lonely. But you cannot enclose them in one tank. You have to be, you have to separate them. Let's start. Uh, okay, number one, can you help me read the tinsel? Okay. Number one attracts Taipan Hood or becoming the first or primus inter pares first among equals. Okay. Number one, if you have a uh, number one address, uh, there's a tendency also for you to become number one in your field, either as a Taipan or a president CEO. Uh, if you notice, uh, the most one of the most popular uh, presidents in the Philippines became president for having two number one addresses: number one Polk Street and number one. Ibuna, no? So that's uh, for our uh, past president, uh, Arab Estrada. So one also means sure good luck in uh, uh, Feng Shui. The basis of uh, luck in, uh, in Feng Shui is the euphony or how the number sounds when you say it in Cantonese dialect, no? Uh, So one sounds like good luck. And why it becomes lucky? Well, as I mentioned, the sound of the word or the word itself 
and its uh, meaning influences our thoughts and it affects our decisions and perspective in life. Okay, so let's proceed to the next number. Number two. Uh, can we so it, read our dream? It means, <laughs> okay. it means an easy life of prosperity, earning while even sleeping. Okay. An address of number two means easy prosperity. But there is a secret behind number two. It also means you earn even while sleeping. So you prosper more. So you're like a call center 24-7. Okay? So kidding aside, in Feng Shui, uh, people joke around that... Uh, uh, if you have a number two address or somebody called number two living in that address, uh, that lady is very lucky because even while sleeping, she earns. Okay? So that's... Uh, it's uh, double prosperity or riches. Okay. We skip right away. We go to only lucky numbers. No, The in-between numbers who aren't lucky. So we proceed to number eight. If you notice... Number eight in Chinese, uh, they call it fat, no? F A A T. It means riches or double prosperity. Symbolically, it has two round uh, uh, symbols joined together. A round symbol is also like a symbol of a drop of water. And water in Feng Shui is money. So Two drops of water joined together means double money or double prosperity. So, very prosperous indeed if you have an address uh, number eight. Okay. Next. Number nine is doubling wealth. Okay, so this is your address, right? Yes. Okay, so your house, Ogors doubling wealth no so you can double your wealth while you are residing and working from that house in this time of uh, work from home if you notice your business was already doubling you now have two ventures right <laughs> yes <laughs> so that's how uh it is no and deny easy doubling wealth yeah, doubling wealth uh, is nine because nine is uh, doubling wealth, two is easy. And it also applies to even basketball players, uh, your jersey. Uh, one of my clients, his jersey number is number 29. Uh, superstar San Miguel player, Arwin Santos. And easily he doubles his wealth in his game. Okay, so next uh, number please. Number 30. Money forever. Money forever. So, uh, if you love money, this is the house number or business address for you. Okay? Talagang uh, money forever. No? Right. So, highly recommended for uh, wedding lords. Okay? <laughs> Next number, please. <laughs> number 31. Forever locked. Uh, forever locked. Yeah. Uh, so, this is very good uh, address for a mistress, no? Especially if you're number three, okay? <laughs> so, and yeah. so double double prosperity. Uh, number please. Oh yeah, na eighty eight. So this is one of the most popular, ano? Uh, double double prosperity, okay? Uh, hindi lang uh, one time na uh, double prosperity, dumo double pa, okay? So, ato yung uh, A plus pagdating sa grade. A plus. No? A plus, no? So next number one hundred. Okay. Luck in doubling money. Ayan, ayan ang uh, uh, one of the uh, triple A uh, numbers, no? Numbers. Uh, uh, so tunog pa lang eh. Ube na, okay? <laughs> so, uh, very good number. So, before... Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.